Hello, this is Reza from Radacad, and today I'm going to uh, show you a script, a Power Query script that you can just copy and paste into your Power BI solution, which will give you a full time dimension, a table that has uh, one record per second. It has columns for hours, minutes, seconds, and buckets for hours, 12 hours, 8 hours, 6 hours, and minutes, uh, and you can achieve visualizations like this. Let's see how it works. Uh, let's first talk about what is a time table or time dimension. Time table or time dimension is a table that has um, time based columns like hours, minutes, seconds, um, AM, PM. Uh, it can has also it can also have buckets as you can see here um, like uh, bins of hours every 12 hours every two hours every three hours every six hours it can have uh, bins for minutes as well these are columns that you will see as part of this timetable and this table then gets connected to your transactional table or fact table for um, for analyzing data on a time-based scenario. A lot of scenarios are mainly date-based scenarios. In many of businesses, time portion of the date is not that much important. But if time is important, then you need a table for that. You might think why we need a, date, a table for time and is it different from time and uh, from the date table? Yes, date table and timetable are different. Uh, the reason that we don't uh, combine them together usually is the combined size result. If we have a, a date table that is, let's say, 365 rows a day, uh, a year, um, then for 10 years, this is going to be um, 3,000 rows, almost 3,600 rows. If you have a timetable with one uh, record per second, that's like 80,000, 86,000 rows. And if you combine these two together, you end up with a 300 million rows table for date and time combined. Now, if you go to a lower granularity, if you have like only minute level data in your timetable, still you get a table with 5 million rows. This is not a good size for a dimension table. For fact table, it's fine, but dimension tables, uh, much better to be smaller than this. You can have a timetable separately, date table separately, and then as two separate dimensions, connect them to your fact table. Now, this video is about timetable and how to create it. Uh, this script that I uh, uh, produced, you can download it from the link down in the description below. Just go to my blog article. There's a section for downloading the script. Just download the script. You can easily use it like this. You can go and uh, in your get data, choose, just choose a blank query. Uh, this will bring you to Power Query Editor window with a blank query like this. Then you can go to Advanced Editor and here, instead of this script, just paste the script that you get from uh, from the blog uh, article link down below. Uh, this is, I'm not going to create it right now. This is an example of that script. You see that script is fully pasted here. Uh, you don't need to understand what the script is doing. If you are interested, you can have a look and see. This is the, there are a number of time-based analysis and calculations to drive these calculations. But the final result is this. As soon as you copy it <clears throat> and click OK, you should get a result like this, which will create uh, a table with one record per uh, seconds for all 24 hours uh, and then um, it has some additional columns as a buckets as well, right? Then after building a table like this, you can have it connected to other parts of your uh, model. So here I have it connected, for example, to, uh, to a data table that I have uh, based on the time column. And then the, in the result, I can slice and dice data. As you see here, I have um, hours um, as a higher level, and then I can drill down to uh, every 30 minutes. You can bring uh, other buckets every 15 minutes, every 10 minutes and things like that, right? So really simple way of using it, especially if time-based analysis is important for you. 
uh, just go and download the um, copy the script and use it in your solution i highly recommend to use it in a data flow because that way you don't need to copy and paste it in every solution all you do is to build the data flow once and check out my videos about how to create a data flow uh, then here you just say get data from uh, Power BI data flows and just select that timetable. So in that case, you don't even need to copy and paste your script. Your, your script is processed once. It stores the result into a timetable and you just reuse it. Um, that's it. This is a script to creating a timetable in Power BI. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.